Hello, can you introduce yourself to me? Hi there, um, I'm Catherine Evans, I'm studying at the University of Cambridge and I won one of the Amelia Earhart Fellowships in 2012. So how did you find out about the Amelia Earhart? Um, so interestingly, I found out through a work colleague um, who had known of a, another student at the lab who had also won one of the um, fellowships pre previous years. So it was really by word of mouth. Okay, and what are you studying? Um, why, do you, why were you eligible for the Amelia Hutt? So I um, originally did a mechanical engineering degree and then got interested in aerodynamics and then I'm now doing my PhD in aerospace engineering. So I'm actually looking at um, aero engines. Okay. And why, why would the world be interested in that? Um, so it's a very, obviously these, these engines are very, very um, efficient already, but they obviously are used throughout the world every single day, every minute. So there's still very much like a continuation of research required to make these engines more and more efficient. So what I'm trying to do is improve the efficiency and therefore reduce the fuel consumption and therefore we can have both um, commercially and uh, environmental benefits. Okay. And when did you first know that you wanted to be a, a mechanical engineer? Um, so when I was uh, 17, just finishing uh, school, I went to see a careers advisor and I was determined to do maths and physics at uni. And he said, you know, you really like doing maths and physics, but you're also very creative, so why don't you think of engineering? So it was actually from his advice that I even looked into engineering. So you went to university where? I went to university at the University of Liverpool Yeah. Um, for four years and did my undergraduate master's there and then um, started at Cambridge. Okay, and so what are you going to do with it? Um, so I'm finishing in a couple of months, um, hopefully write it all up, and then my long-term plan is to go and work for maybe one of the aero engine companies, Rolls-Royce, GE, or um, go into aerospace as a whole, basically. Just stick with engineering, because I enjoy it so much. And what about if you were... Um, uh, if you had a child at the moment, what would you do and what would you encourage them to do in terms of careers? How would you raise that child? Um, I would just, like I had every option open to me, you know, I was very fortunate, my parents were very encouraging in anything that I wanted to do, I'd hopefully just be the same. So I hopefully encourage them that they could do anything that they wish to do. And there's no barriers, basically. Okay. And what about the world? You know, if you look ahead 10 years, if you had a wand, what would you make the world look like? Um, I personally am a massive advocate of environmental sustainability, so I, I hope that through not only my research but the research we do throughout the whole of the university and throughout the whole of the UK, that we can continue to improve um, energy supplies and make them more and more efficient, more and more efficient look into renewables. Um, so that's what I would hope for. In an organisation like Zonta, what would you want it to do going forward? Um, so going forward and you know, advancing the status of women, I think continuing with these awards is a great way to you know, show recognition to young women and uh, you know, women like my age, to also you know, encourage them that what they're doing is actually worthwhile. Um, and. Um, yeah, that's that's what I think. Okay, and and tell me about that pin that you've got on your. Yeah. So yeah, the Zonta says no pin on this side, yeah. and then the This is the Amelia Earhart um, uh, pin that I got uh, given to me at the award ceremony um, in June uh, in February. Oh wow! And it's got wings on it. Yes. Oh great! Well, thank you, and good luck. Thank you very much.